Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another episode of Extend Breaks Originals. This is a series of Avatar videos, and here is our first video, our Hexapede. And let's proceed with the making of our Hexapede. So, first up, we have here already our primer and Hexapede. You can see here that it does look like a Hexapede that has a long neck, has, uh, of course, uh, six legs, <laughs> and then, of course, uh, a weird uh, looking mouth <laughs> or face to it. So, we've already uh, added some more details and we're ready to paint. So the first color would be this mix of blue and some greens and a little bit of white. And we're painting this uh, like entire on the entire figure. Okay, so the Hexapid is actually the Navi name as Yerek. And it is actually one of the uh, land herbivores that resides in various biomes of Pandora, including rainforest, savanna, subarctic, tundra, and mountainous regions. So we're just dry brushing here, lighter, um, uh, lighter blue. So using the same colors earlier on, we just added some white, and then we're dry brushing it on certain highlighted areas, such as hips, um, shoulders, as well as the face. Now for the next color, this is actually a mixture of the blues that we have earlier on, a gray color and some uh, black coloration, and we're painting this on the back region of the hexapede. Now, hexapeds are some of the most beautiful and fragile creatures in Pandora, although a prime target for any land or aerial predator, the rapid pace of their breathing uh, keeps them from extinction, actually. Now, here we're actually painting the uh, lower sections of the hexapede, and this is the same color that we will be using for the stripes of the hexapede. So, the, uh, if you're going to look closely on the hexapede, you have here a... Uh, white um what do you call this a uh, stripe and then there are smaller stripes coming or emanating from this uh, main stripe on the back now the hexapid is a food source for the navi and it's one of the prime targets for navi hunters the swarms of sting bats also occasionally attack these creatures so here you can see i'm just adding in several more um, stripes. Uh, this is very reminiscent of the Okapi, uh, wherein Okapi actually has also stripes on the uh, hind legs. Now it's time for us to uh, include the um, details on the face and on the head of the uh, the Yerik or the Hexpeed. So it has um, details of browns, blues, whites on the frill of the Hexpeed. It also has eye details on the um, frills. So we're using here a darker shade of brown and then we're lining it. Uh, I mean, the uh, the lining would be also the same color. So it actually looked like eyes staring or glaring at you. So the Hexapid resembles a sick like uh, terrain gazelle or antelope and they are dark blue herbivores with white and yellow stripes. Well, that's it for the making. I hope you enjoyed this one and learned something from And here are the winners for a Guess PC Contest. First up, we have Ken Lucky Pigs, T-Rex Studio, Reza, Ian Jones, Ali Joriel, Aiden, Malik, Rainmark, Christopher, Emperor of Tunes, and Amin Left Hip Leafy. Congratulations everyone and our top 10 winners! Top 10 Boy Official Top 9 Top 8 Cyrus. Top 8 Bricks Top 7 Pocolo Top 6 J10 Top 5 Titan. Top 4 Top 3 Destroyed Rebel Cowboy Top Leonardo 2 Leonardo Alvarez Corrales Top 1 Congratulations everyone!
And for those of you who would like to join yourself, just click the Extinct Bricks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage and the homepage is click the community link to see all our posts. I'll see you there everyone. So hi everyone, we are now at the beginning of our avatar series and first up we have our Hexapede. So the Hexapede here is one of those beautiful creatures from Pandora and I think uh, it is actually just suiting that we have this particular, um, what do you call this, creature first to be introduced because it's just so beautiful. I, I love how elegant the, um, the, the way the creature was actually um, done in that particular movie. So we're starting off with this one. So Sully here will be coming back later on for some size comparisons as well. Right, so we have here our... Um, Hexapede, of course, it has six legs, as you can see here. It is also one of those that are very reminiscent of our modern um, uh, artiodactyls or those with hooves. So it's more like a uh, antelope of some sort. Uh, instead of horns, uh, it has this, um, what do you call this, a frill. Uh, and of course, it has so uh, really large eyes, and then it has this beard to it, and of course, these receptacles or those connections that they are uh, that they connect with 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 the other you know um, uh, species of Pandora. So it has um, striped details on on the sides, as well as that of the back legs as well. It has this. Uh, darker shade of um, uh, what do you call this uh, mane over the back and also on the um, butt area over here <laughs> it has a ton of detail on the face of course uh, it has one two three four five six I think six eyes and then it makes uh, it looks like it has eight eyes because of these um, uh, googly things, you know, seen on the uh, on the frills. So it actually reminds me of Queen Amidala of Star Wars over here <laughs> on this photo. So uh, that's quite a you know a, a remarkable uh, what do you call this um, reference to that as, as well. So yeah, so that is the uh, closer look on our. Um, what do you call this? Hexapede. Right, so we will now be moving on with... The Extinct Bricks PC Roll Call. So we have here Sully back. And uh, if, if I would just, you know, bring one of my regular minifigures back so we can have uh, an adequate size um, comparison. So we have Asher, I, I mean um, Evie here wearing blue. So you can see that we have our um, minifigure Sully here, uh, taller than our usual minifigures. It has long legs, long arms, long torso as well, and of course the head should be just the same. But nonetheless, it's quite tall and comparable to our regular minifigure. Okay, so let's now compare this one with the actual size of the Hexapede. Uh, it's quite hard to, you know, get get an actual, you know, comparison size, but um, uh, it is, you know, uh, taller than most of any or any of the uh, regular artiodactyls living at the moment. All right, so first up, we let's compare with the dire horse. So here is our dire horse, quite large. <laughs> You know, so I, I made everything, you know, uh, larger. So there's no horse from Lego that is much l larger than this one, I believe. But yeah, so this is our dire horse, and you can you can fit um, solid in here, of course. There you go. Yep, yep. And then comparing it in terms of size with our um, hexapede here, definitely it's much larger than the hexapede. 
Okay, so let's now compare with other uh, Artiodactyls that we have had so far here on this particular channel. First up, we have the the Aurochs. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, it's quite a large Artiodactyl, but definitely it's uh, almost the same length as that of the Hexapede, but uh, uh, height-wise, this is much taller, I guess. Yep. Uh, than our uh, hexapede. Uh, in real life, probably hexapedes would be much larger, but nonetheless, of course, uh, this is uh, the um, the uh, Orox that we did for <clears throat> for um, uh, extinct breaks. You can see it has several articulations to it, so it can move its legs like so. Of course, its head as well. So yeah. So that's our uh, Aurox for you guys. So if you haven't seen this particular video yet, please check it out. It's quite a cool uh, video. So uh, I hope you guys like it. Next up, we have our Macronychia. I'm not sure if it's a, an Artiodactyl, but I uh, included it anyways here because it's such a cool design and um, simplistic in a way as well. So. Um, Bacronychia, uh, part of our me ma Megafauna series, guys, so please check it out. Next, we have our, uh, one of the more famous Archaeodactyls, we have the Megaloceros. So, our Megaloceros would indeed have the largest antlers of all time, much larger than our Hexapede, though, but, uh, it does have a lot of articulation to it, it can move its head up and down right and left oops <laughs> sorry has a speed but you know um the legs here are moving it is the, the base figure for this one is the um uh elk from frozen yeah so it's quite a good figure so we we went on ahead and used that figure for this um custom right also we have our uh Sivatherium over here so the Sivatherium is uh, also a large uh, giraffid. So it's within the family of the giraffe, although it's much, uh, it's larger, I, I, heavier, I guess. Although it's much um, uh, smaller. Okay, so that is our Sivatherium, guys. Okay, so another is here is uh, one for the Christmas season: <laughs> our Euclidoceros. The Euclidoceros here has the most intricate, I would say, antler uh, in in uh, ever that I've seen. It has a lot of you know design to it, and uh, actually the main <laughs> the main um, custom here was uh, the antler. So the the stag here for the deer is actually from the I would say uh, Harry Potter <laughs> Harry Potter deer. We just made, uh, you know, changes uh, to the antlers here and of course recolored it in such a way that it would look like uh, the U Euclidoceros. Alright, so that's it for our size comparisons, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's now move along with... Next thing breaks PC Rockle and we have here all the creatures that I have presented here on this particular video and if you do have other suggestions of avatar creatures that you'd like to see here on uh, Extinct Breaks, please comment them down below, uh, interact with me guys, and uh, maybe if I would see those creatures interesting, maybe we can add it in the next custom. Alright guys, so um, also, Sully here would like to remind you guys that all that you see here is actually available in our Extinct Breaks playlist over here, but uh, I will not be... Um, but I'll be putting in individual links of all that you see here so that you won't have to go through all 400 and plus videos that we have uploaded so far here on this particular channel. Okay, so maybe we can start with the Extinct Bricks PC roll call. Let's start from this side, shall we? This is the Extinct Bricks Macronychia. This is the Extinct Bricks Eucla Doceros. This is the Extinct Bricks Avatar Dire Horse. This is the Extinct Bricks Megaloceros. This is the Extinct Bricks Sivatherium. This is the Extinct Bricks Aurochs. 
And of course, to start the show here, this is our Extinct Bricks Hexapede from Avatar. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope Woo! you enjoyed this one. And um, uh, again, if you do have other suggestions of other creatures from Avatar, please um, comment them down below. Uh, the um, Avatar Way of Water is coming in soon. Uh, it's showing here in the Philippines in December, on December 2, 12 or 16. So uh, please check out the video, guys, or the movie as well. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching.